This quiz checks to see that you know all six trig functions. We are given um, three pieces of information about a triangle. So first, draw your triangle. It tells me that C is the right angle, which means that opposite C is side C. Doesn't matter where you put A and B. Remember, opposite A is A. And opposite B, oh shoot, we're going to have to figure that out. Pythagoras will help us. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. This makes 16. Subtract 16 from both sides. And B is going to be the square root of 33. All right. Now, all I have to do is find all of the values. The sine of A is opposite over hypotenuse. Let's go back and label those, should we? Here's angle A, which means that this is opposite, this is hypotenuse, this one, the one close to A, is adjacent. Opposite over hypotenuse is then 4 over 7. The cosine of A is adjacent over hypotenuse. Do you have your Sokotoa memorized yet? Adjacent to A is the square root of 33, and the hypotenuse is 7. Tangent of A, the tangent, so, ka, to, a, is opposite over adjacent. Opposite angle A is 4, and adjacent angle A is the square root of 33. At this point, we have to slow down a little bit. Because we have a square root in the denominator, we're going to rationalize that denominator by multiplying the top by the square root of 33 and the bottom by the square root of 33. This is just a fancy name for 1, so that's totally legal. 4 times the square root of 33 is just 4 root 33. The square root of 33 times the square root of 33 is 33, and this is how I want the final answer. Then we're going to do the reciprocal functions, so-called, because they're going to flip the original functions upside down. On the quiz, the next one is secant, so we're going to find the secant of A. Secant is the reciprocal of cosine. So that's hypotenuse over adjacent. Hypotenuse is 7 over, oops, I was going to switch and do this in blue. 7 over adjacent is the square root of 33. We need to do the same trick we just did for tangent. And cosecant, which is the reciprocal of sine. So that means it's hypotenuse over adjacent. And we have hypotenuse being 7 over opposite is 4. No squared in the bottom. We don't need to do anything about that. The last of the six trig functions is cotangent. Cotangent is the reciprocal of tangent. That's the easy one to remember. So it's adjacent over opposite, which means that it is the square root of 33 over 4. These are the six answers I'm looking for. 4 sevenths, root 33 over 7. The tangent of A is 4, root 33 over 33. The secant of A is 7, root 33 over 33. The cosecant of A is 7 fourths. And the cotangent of angle A is root 33 over 4. First, we used Pythagoras, and then we just used the definitions. Keep practicing.